contact departure, get in. Over to departure for three Delta Sierra, thanks. Lexington departure, Diamond November 213, Delta Sierra, uh, runway heading, climbing, 1,700 for 3,000. Diamond 213, Delta Sierra, Lexington departure, to contact, turn right direct to Frankfurt. Right direct to Frankfurt for 3 Delta Sierra. Okay, go ahead and throw those foggles on when you get a shot. Alright, you have it? I got it. That's two for three. Good blend. All right, I've got it. Every time it comes along, I need to turn the heading bug 10 degrees. That's right. Okay. Well, you twist 10 on your CDI and you turn 10 on the heading bug. Altitude looks good, airspeed's good. Our distance is 13.6, so we're coming back in a little bit. Our 22.8's locked in there for our ground comms. Alright, so we intercepted that, we're going to go another 10. And let's turn 20 this time. Okay. No, oh. no, that's always 10. The CDI is always 10. Okay. And we change our uh, our heading bug according to our distance. Okay. Try and get that into 13 miles. Alright, so we were on there, we got our ASOS, we got our, uh, we were talking to Lexington on 120.75. Still got that locked in if we need it. We'll take uh, clearance delivery when we land if we need it. Okay. We got Unicom on there. Yep. So right now we're arcing over, we're going to intercept right around Ziffel. Okay. After crossing over Ziffel, we can descend to 2400. Okay. At Layev when we intercept the 314 radial from off the Lexington VOR. VOR. Okay. Yeah. When do I need to switch to the Lexington VOR? when we're inbound on the localizer. So the first thing you'll do is you'll switch this to the Frankfurt localizer and then you'll switch this one over to the Lexington VOR. Okay. 249, so once we intercept 249 on that. Exactly. Okay. So now you see how we're starting to intercept that 13? Yeah. So on this one just twist 10 on the CDI and just hold this heading because now we're starting to intercept that course because if we turn, if we keep on turning more, we're going to keep on turning towards the VOR. Okay. And ideally, we want this to be like 90 degrees off of our heading. Okay. When, uh, in real world, have you ever had, to, or had clearance to fly something like, I guess it depends on the airport you go, you're going into, right? Yeah. It depends on the traffic mainly. You will have to do one on your check ride, most likely. DME arc? Yeah. Even if it's just, you know, like a 30 DME, okay. like a 30 degree DME arc for no approach. All right, so our needle's coming in. When it gets there, we're going to turn another 10 degrees. We'll be at 240. Yep, and that's going to get us pretty close to our approach course here. And as soon as that approach course starts to come in, you'll start turning into intercept it. try and do is find ourselves a heading that gives us 249 on this track. Okay. And now we're going to set our heading bug to that. Okay. Maybe left like 8 I've already put the uh, radial, the 314 radial for final approach fix in there. Very good. How long is it going to take us to get from our final approach fix to our missed approach point? 
Uh, let's see, at about 90 knots, it's going to take us 3 minutes and 16 seconds. Yeah. How are you going to time that? We can use our timer right over here. Yeah. Stop. Clear. We'll wait till we're on leave, though. I would have actually kept that. That's your uh, flight time? Sorry. So you got count up here. Your flight time, you want to know. Watch your altitude. Okay, you're a couple miles from your final approach fix to your pre-landing checklist. Alright, so gas on the fullest tank, which it is, undercarriage is fixed, make sure we're going to go full rich, prop, we can wait on final, short final, go full forward, safety straps on, yours is on, landing lights coming on, fuel pump on for landing. Yep. I'm a little high, let me power out here. Go ahead and put in our first notch of flaps. Our needles coming around for my final approach fix. Helicopter two zero two nine three, slow approach, missed approach. Capital City traffic, Diamond two one three Delta Sierra's five mile final localizer two five approach, Capital City. All right, it's what coming else? in, so we need to switch. Go ahead. Uh, we can start our descent now. As soon as this comes in, right? Yeah. What else do you do at layup? At layup, we're going to start our timer. Very good. So we'll go ahead and start timer now. We're looking at 3,000, or sorry, 3 minutes 16 seconds. So we'll start our descent. What's your minimum? 1,280. Okay. I'll let you know when I get the field in sight. Alright. Get about a 500 foot per minute descent going. Those over. And don't forget to start, you know, looking for the airport clip, clicking on the lights. Alright. That's, uh, that's going to be important, you know, in a big overcast day, especially at night. I guess under the hood though right now. Right. Yeah. It's fine. I just want you to get in that mindset of... Alright. We're a little bit like two degrees off here, but... Okay, good. Delta Sierra, we can take 2-7, we're going to the west hangars. Oh, now you tell me. I'm 3 Delta Sierra, roger, runway 2-7, wind 2-4-0 at 7, clear to land. Thank you much, clear to land on 2-7, 2-1-3 Delta Sierra. I've never seen the, the Pappy here. I hadn't either. It's pretty sweet. Never landed on this runway at night. Uh, I've only landed on it like once and that was during the day.
I didn't, thought didn't even occur to me until I saw the runway lit up. Cool though, if they let us do it. Yeah. I'll warn him at 75 knots. <laughs> yeah. Pretty ridiculous. Delta, turn left, one able, turn left on taxiway, Foxtrot, and taxi to the ramp via Foxtrot, this frequency. 